Hey everybody, it's me, Vic. Today we're gonna be talking about voice mod. Sorry, I know y'all saw me remove something, but y'all saw me add it in another video. Anyways, we're gonna get started here. So again, I'm off camera because I want y'all to see where I'm navigating my mouse. But uh, we're gonna get started here. So first things first, we're gonna actually go to voice mod, right? If you haven't installed voice mod, please go ahead and do so. If you have an Elgato Stream Deck, you're gonna want to install the plugin. So this is the link, I will post it in the video. But the reason why I'm doing that is because I really want you all to see how this works and comes together in unison with using Wavelength. So first things first, we're actually gonna go to settings, right? Initially, when you start up, VoiceMod is gonna ask you what your default microphone is. I chose Wavelength Microphone Effects from my Elgato XLR dock because I have the Stream Deck Plus. Alrighty, so my output, I told it SFX, and I'll explain why. Sound effects is going to be where you're able to use your soundboard. You can go to advanced settings if you need to. Honestly, you don't need to change anything. Default is fine. But the reason why you want to route it this way is so, for example, and I already have a finished one here. If I wanted to change my voices, I could, but the soundboard, I took time to do everything by category based on the way voice mod setup is. So if you like this profile, I will be uploading this to the marketplace soon. Anyway, when you start routing certain things, and do I have this routed to my microphone? Ew. Sorry, this is the 2.0 beta and sometimes it does some funny things. So uh, I might have to restart Wavelink. Oh boy. One second. All right, so I wanted to make sure my SFX was routed to my microphone so I could demo this for you. So when I do that, right, and what the convenience of these dials is, is I can actually filter through each of these and it will actually let me um, push the dial and I can do the same thing, which I think is really cool. There's uh, everything by category. I'm not even joking. Like, if you look at voice mod here, when we go back on the, um, the way that the setup is for the voices, I have all of the voices by category. Literally all of these, as of this month, October 20th, 2024, this is the way the layout is. This is the way the profiles will be configured. Um, the soundboard, it is also going to be by category, but not in this order. It's just by category. So let me pull up the stream deck and you'll see when you click here, it tells you, and I went in alphabetical order with this one just because it was a lot quicker for me to do. So as you can see, everything is in alphabetical order. They're all loaded. It's just that I'm using the beta version of Stream Deck right now. And so some things take a little bit to load, but it's all there. Um, I do intend to upload these profiles again to the maker store, um, the market store at the marketplace, the Elgato marketplace. <laughs> That way you all can use it free. Um, I already took the time to do the categorizing. And the cool thing is you just have to set up the profile switching. So I have only two Stream Deck Pluses now that I use instead of my XL. I do have the XL, I do have the regular Stream Deck and I have the Stream Deck Mobile and the pedal. But honestly, you're gonna basically have it go to whatever device you're toggling between and in this case it's the current one and i just tell it i want it to go to my soundboard or my voices which is what it's going to be the label the reason why it says number two is so i know which um, stream deck plus i'm using and it only goes to you know a certain amount of pages when you do the profile so that is one really cool thing and again i am using the beta version so i don't know if y'all saw that but in the beta version for the profile switch you can tell it what page you want to go to, which I think is really cool. So for example, let's go to copy. I wanted to put this here, right? And paste. 
and I tell it I want it to go to page two. It'll go to page two, right? So here's page two for the voices. Now I have two microphones. One is a, a voice enhancer and one is a clean mic. So here's the other thing about these profiles, right? You can change this into whatever order you want. It does not need to be this layout, but the profiles will be set up this way. You do not need to keep all of the voices. You can configure them to whatever it is you prefer. Um, and that's entirely at your choice. If you would prefer the profile switching between each one, you can do that too. Um, you know, we, I, I try to make these things simple, but with the way things are set up, you might not use all of these sounds, right? You might not use um, these farts and burp sounds, for example. You might use the horror sounds. I know I do. I'd like to scare my friends in Discord every now and then with this one here. <laughs> I do. I love using that one. And sometimes I do like using the um, elevator music. But like, for example, that I won't be using. Some of these I won't be using. I do like the little music stuff, so I probably will keep that. But I've organized it in a way that where all of these little areas here are basically free for you to put whatever you need there. I do like these right here, the um, retro games. I do like those sounds. But there's a lot of different ones that you can organize them the way you want. Maybe you don't want a massive soundboard. Um, there used to be where you'd have to do it for each individual button, but with the Stream Deck Plus, you can just literally circulate through the dials. Like I said, it does take a moment to load because I am using the beta. But once you have everything configured from here, right, then you can actually go here into Wavelink and add the microphone. So I'm gonna have to hit mute on the headphone, I think. Now, I don't know what's up with voice mod. I used to only have one input. Now voice mod gives me two. But you can see that it's working and it's being routed correctly. Well, let me pop it out. Yes. I like my microphones to be right here in the beginning. Sorry about that. Wavelink 2.0 sometimes crashes on me a little frequently. But uh, as you can see, we were trying to move something and then it was just like, nope. They're working on it, y'all. Remember, it's a beta. But the cool thing is, you know, you're able to see that it's working. Now, if you really wanted to be specific about things, you could go to your volume mixer and you could see that your main microphone is set up the way that it is in the app with the Wavelink microphone effects and that the output is going to SFX for like the soundboard. Now the microphone, you would create a separate mic altogether as your broadcasting source. So for example, if I didn't want to use my Wave XLR, I could actually switch this and uh, do an audio input capture in OBS. I'm going to name this voice mod. And, and I am going, going to, to select, select voice mod. I had to mute my wave XLR for voice mod to come through. But now I'm going to use the voice changer feature. And yeah, what I'm doing, if you want to see this here, it's the me teeny tiny button, you can see that I'm talking through the microphone. What I'm going to do is change through the voices at the ease of a dial. And you'll be able to hear those changes as they come through in the video here. I know some people prefer labels on here. You can add that if you want to. Honestly, the for me was enough. Here's the creepy doll. I don't think I'm really a fan of that voice. But let's just say I wanted to change it back to something normal. I could go here and click on the clean mic, or 
If I wanted to swipe over one, I can even use the voice enhancer and that would still sound normal. So that's why I configured the profiles the way that I did. But now you're able to actually just roll of a dial, go through the voices as well as the soundboard. And you get to do that between two profile switches. I could have done a continuous, but I think that, let's see how many pages Wavelink or Dream Deck gives us. Only 10, right? So that's why I did two separate profiles was so that way I didn't have to run out of space as I was doing this. But configuring voice mod using a Stream Deck Plus and a Wavelink, and I want to say 2.0, um, it makes things so much easier using this to do a voice changer. Now I switch back to my regular microphone at the click of a button because I just prefer my natural mic as opposed to the voice mod mic. I only use the voice mod mic really in Discord and I have a feature where I toggle that on and off with a different um, stream deck button. It's a toggle between my regular mic and my voice mod. So I wanted to thank you all for watching. I hope that makes using voice mod very simple for you as far as the configurations as far as uh, the Stream Deck and uh, Wavelink Setup. Oh, Wavelink Setup, I did miss something here. So you see where it says SFX, right? I can uncheck that. And this is in the 2.0, right? So I can uncheck that and it wouldn't have my voice mod there. But if I put that there, voice mod is automatically routed to SFX. I would recommend keeping it here and everything should work without any issues. Again, thanks for watching.